Now this may be my most controversial video yet. Anxiety is a good Dante. What? You're crazy, oh my God. I have clinical anxiety. I take antidepressants. I take blah, 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 whatever. Before you start labeling yourself, start giving yourself these attributes, which is mostly in your mind, by the way, for most people, let's just break it down. Let's just see how we can actually transmute this energy, this feeling within, and actually use it for good. So number one, you have to embrace the feeling. Stop trying to reject it. Stop trying to not live in the moment. The number one thing that killed my anxiety is me realizing that it is just not being in the present moment. Simply not being in the present moment is the biggest reason why most people have anxiety. And this is why they call anxiety freedom. Because you're having so many options, but you just don't know what to do. It's crippling freedom. It is not something that is necessarily bad, but it is something that is free within yourself. It is the freedom of options, the freedom of choice. Anxiety is a fear of failure. Think about when you're working out and you're about to hit that PR. You have a fear of failure. Everybody feels anxiety when they're about to hit a PR because they feel like, oh, what if I fail? What if this happens? What if this happens? See, nobody really knows. That's the thing. Oh, what if I get injured? You know that it's a rare chance that I'll get injured. We got the we got the safety rags. I can just dump the weight. It's all good. But you still have that fear of failure. So you have to break it down. What is it that you fear? If you have anxiety about asking that girl out, then it's because you have a fear of rejection. You are afraid of getting rejected. What's so bad about getting rejected? Then you have to start working backwards. So you have to understand what is it that you fear because one of the causes of anxiety is fear. You're fearing something. You're fearing what is the outcome of this decision that you could possibly make. Number three is go after it. Whether the PR, whether the girl you want to talk to, whether the uh, presentation, whether the public speech, it doesn't matter. Go after it. Many people think of anxiety of a reason why not to do it. They use it a bit as an excuse. Oh, I just couldn't talk to her because I had anxiety. I just couldn't go after it because I had anxiety. Because I had anxiety. <laughs> you know? There's you know, so many excuses on why you shouldn't do it. But anxiety is just the feeling of the unknown, the fear of the unknown. But what we both come to realize through self-improvement is that just because something is unknown, just because you haven't done something before, doesn't necessarily mean that you shouldn't do it. Just because you feel anxiety doesn't mean that you shouldn't do it anyways. We were in a rock climbing gym and I had a question. I wanted to ask the dude something, but I was like, oh my God, he's working. And you know, like just stuff comes into your mind. You're working, what about this? What about this? Just all these excuses. And I said, this is the perfect time to test it. This is the perfect time to test it out. Talking to a random person. Just what's up? Oh, blah, 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 blah. Just asked this question. Had a good conversation. It was over with. Wasn't anything as big as I thought it was. That's the mindset. That's the lizard brain activating. Even if you fear it, even if it shakes you down to your core, even if you're shaking, maybe you do talk to the girl and you're literally shaking while you're talking to the girl and you do get rejected. Hey, that doesn't matter though. It doesn't matter. See, you're focusing on the rejection when you should be focusing that you just did something that you haven't done before. You just went a little up in your ability points. When you fell on your bike as a little kid, did you get, man, I ain't never going to ride a bike again. Man, F these bikes. Man, this bike suck. <laughs> this bike a hoe. <laughs> did you feel that? No, you got up and you rode your bike again. And then you rode your bike again and then you got a little bit better and now you can ride a bike without even thinking without close you close your eyes you can ride a bike without you know put your hands up you can ride a bike that is the same thing with anxiety with with every single thing especially if you work out you know what i'm talking about you know especially in the early days your pr 
is what you do for like 10 now. It, it's just that easy. You know, I remember being scared for going for 135. Oh, what if I fail? Oh my God. Oh, 135, Jesus Christ, 245 plates. Oh my God. Whew. Now it's like, okay, I can do that for like 12, bro. Just pump them out. It, it's easy. I have no anxiety for it because I've done it before. See, anxiety is just the fear of the unknown. But sometimes you need to go after the unknown. You can't fear the unknown. Why? Because you won't grow. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and externalize greatness.